Stephen, I've been doing this a while. I don't think I've seen a more passionate press conference. You're a driven man at the moment. Listen, I get out of my bed on, on Monday morning. I can't wait to get in here. That is the truth. Make no mistake, I, I'm not... This isn't show bravado. I couldn't wait to get in here. Because I'm passionate. I have a belief in my work. I have a belief in everything that I do. And it'll come through. That, I'll never lose that belief. And it'll come through. And I don't think we're far away also from being a good team. Sometimes through bad results, you lose sight of certain things. Not me. I'm not losing sight of many things. A very powerful message you've given to the other guys here today about the fact that you you feel you want more time because the 12 weeks hasn't been the correct opportunity for you to, to put your messages across. Uh, no, what, what I'm saying is that the results need to be better. A million percent. I accept that. But to judge me as a manager, whether I'm the right man, is ludicrous. Because I haven't implemented many of the aspects of my managerial ways, I haven't had the opportunity to address fitness, which I think is the biggest aspect of any team. The biggest aspect. Then, when you can, you can do everything that's asked of you physically, then there's no compromise when it comes to the tactical elements. You can carry out all the tactical elements with ease because you physically are there. And your decision-making becomes better. Your concentration becomes better. All of these aspects become better on that one aspect alone. But on tactics, on discipline, on all of these aspects, I haven't come in here and thrown that down. Because my job was to keep continuity. Not to come in here and change everything. And in time, I might need to change a lot of things. Because this club has been in this division for five years. Which is five years too long. And I have to be part of the programme to get us out. And I'll do what it takes. If it's not this year, one million percent, I will do what it takes. Is that part of the frustration at the moment is that you have only had these three months and you know you can do much more? No, it's, listen, I came into the job aware of the situation, so I'm not. there's no grumble from me. The fans can do what they wish to do. All I'm asking of our supporters is get behind this group of players, no distractions for 90 minutes, if you're not happy what you see, give me abuse after the game, right? <laughs> give me abuse when I come and applaud you. No problem. That's part of it. It is a big thing, isn't it? Because we've seen it. When these fans get behind the boys, it's powerful. Of course it's powerful. And they need it just now. They need it. You can see the weekend. We play really well. We get a setback. We come a little fragile. Normal when you're not on a good run. Normal. This is when we need the Carlisle supporters more than ever. You put more responsibility on the older players looking ahead into these next six games? I think our experienced players are important, but I also think our young players. I think we all have to take responsibility on these moments, and it can't just be our senior players. They have to drive it, but our young players also have to take responsibility. When you put the strip on and you go out on that field of play, you have to take responsibility. You mentioned deliveries into the box being a weakness on Saturday. Bury, it's part of their play. They get it wide and get it in. We'll have to be on it. A million. That's a big part of it. As I said, T Adams is the highest assist in the league and that's from that area delivering balls in. Um, so we have to defend these moments and that is what we must improve on. Trust me, if we start defending these moments, we'll be a good team. I know you were asked this earlier, but just finally, how much would it mean for this group to get a win on Saturday? It would mean everything. It would change the whole landscape. Trust me on that. That's what wins can do. We're craving that one and if we get it on Saturday you see a big bit of mist <laughs> <laughs> or smog as we say in Scotland lift from uh, the stadium. That's your time. Thanks.